Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing my size comparison on the two different sizes of the American Optical Saratoga sunglasses. But first, we have to thank our sponsor for today's video, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off. Again, ShadeReviewStore.com. So the first pair right here is the standard size, which has 52 millimeter lenses. And then the pair over here is the larger size, which has 54 millimeter lenses. So the standard size, of course, is the size that first came out. And then just a couple weeks ago, American Optical released the larger version. So first off, let's go ahead and pop on the standard size, which again has 52 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick little uh, 180 of how these frames look on face. And as you guys can see, they look really, really good. And now let me go ahead and pop on uh, the larger size, which has 54 millimeter lenses, like I said, and the same 19 millimeter bridge. And here we can see they definitely look a decent amount bigger. Most people wouldn't think that two millimeters makes that big of a difference, but they certainly do. So again, let me go ahead and pop on the originals right here and which again have 52 millimeter lenses. And I really love the look of these 52 millimeter lenses on my face. I think they fit my face a little bit more proportionally and they are a little bit more classy because they fit my face again better. But then here with the 54, I still think these look really good on my face, but they definitely look a little bit more bold and a little bit more loud. And definitely they are a little bit more attention grabbing than the originals, which are a little bit more stealth and you know quiet as far as the styling goes. I'm my particular face size. The reason why American Optical released these 54 millimeter lens size is because a lot of people actually tried on the standard size with 52 millimeter lenses and they were just a little bit too tight and small for them. So that's why they released the larger size. So in my opinion, I think most people should get the standard size, which again has 52 millimeter lenses. This is what still is gonna fit most people's face sizes best. But for those of you with a larger face size, I would definitely go ahead and size up to the larger 54 millimeter lens size. Those are definitely going to be best for you. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, both these sunglasses offer very similar coverage. So here with the standard size, which have 52 millimeter lenses, we can see there is a little bit of gap to it, sunlight you know, unprotected. Then here on the sides, again, there's that little tiny gap. And then here with the larger version of the sunglasses, again, we have about the same gap here up top that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, basically the exact same gap. So there really isn't a big difference between both these two sunglasses as far as coverage from the sun goes. Well, overall, I really do like both these sunglasses. And of course, this is not my review. This is just my size comparison. If you guys want to check out my full review over these sunglasses, I'm going to leave it linked in the description down below where I check out the full review of the American Optical Saratoga sunglasses. In short, I really, really do love these frames. They're made out of an absolutely beautiful acid material, and you really can't beat the classic looks and styling of these frames. I really, really do like these sunglasses. Now, if you're interested in picking up a pair of these sunglasses for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you guys check out these sunglasses uh, directly from American Optical's website, and I'm going to leave links to both the 52 and 54 millimeter version of these sunglasses. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below, and of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.